Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, June 23rd. It's Chris Vermeulen from the TechnicalTraders.com. Just going to provide you with my midweek update on the gold, oil, the US dollar, and the SP500. If we take a look at the um, gold chart here, uh, we can see we broke the 2009 highs uh, about a month and a half ago, and they were broken for a couple days, and then we saw some big selling step in, push it down. A couple weeks later, we saw the 2010 high broken on an intraday basis. It got sold back down. Last week, we saw the 2010, the new 2010 high broken again, and it got stepped on again as well, dropping about $30, $35. And uh, this is a sign that uh, everybody thinks gold's bullish. It can, it keeps trying to break the highs. <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, and then big sellers step in. And if everybody's piling in and playing these breakouts, the, the move to me is overdone. And I think we're getting squeezed into this wedge here. And once once this level is broken, we're going to see a fairly sharp drop in gold. So we have to be very cautious to the long side. If we look at what's going on in the past day here, today's low. I think if today's low is broken, we could see a pretty good landslide. And what will happen is it'll trigger a, a set of stops from traders which will start a waterfall sell-off and it'll trigger people who have their stops set just below here and then it'll that surge should trigger more stops which will send it possibly past this level and then it'll just cause a free fall level which will eventually if it triggers below that this low here then we're going to just see gold pretty much start to waterfall and uh, and that's the kind of price action where we'd be looking to buy on complete panic selling. It'll happen to be right back down into a a very major support level, which should flush pretty much everybody out. And if we just draw an arrow through all this noise, it could pull back somewhere in here or right across these tops into around this area. So that's a pretty sharp sell-off. Of course, it'll trigger stops here, stops here, and it could penetrate this low just enough to shake the rest of people out. So this is a pretty major support level if it does that. Now right now gold is balanced off its uh, 14 period uh, moving average here and there's a good chance it's going to continue to to squeeze higher but you have to be very cautious once it starts to roll over it's it's going to start to slide pretty quick similar to what we saw uh, back here in uh, last December. Uh, maybe not quite that extreme but uh, we will just see lots of stops getting triggered once it gets down below these two averages here which is the 14 and uh, 30 period averages so on another note for that we do have the both cycles right now for gold the long-term cycle is just about to roll over and the short-term cycle is already heading down so that could add a little bit of pressure and create um, possibly about a a 10-day sell-off which would be equivalent to something similar to this previous one and of course it could trigger that waterfall now if we quickly look at uh, oil, oil and I'm going to overlay, well, let me just show you really quick here, pretty much oil is trading right through at a resistance level. It had a very strong move down, lots of volume, it's drifted up into resistance. If we pull in the US dollar chart on top here, pretty much what we've seen is the US dollar has sold down it's put a lot of relief on oil. Right now the US dollar is trading at support. Oil is trading at resistance. If the US dollar bounces a little more, we're going to see oil pull down probably a little deeper into this support level. And then I have a feeling the US dollar could be forming a head and shoulders. And a measured move from here to the high is about three full cents, four cents. Take that measured move down and we're looking at a uh, possible 83 cents on the dollar which would actually send oil quite a bit higher up into a more of a resistance level where it'll start a possibly a new bull market and start to rally so that's what I see going on with uh, oil and uh, the US dollar as for the SP 500 we've got uh, these long-term cycles here every time they bottom we usually happen to see the market bottom so if we look at this is the February sell-off in short, we had a breakout of these highs. We had a pullback into this 14-period uh, moving average. Volume was nice and light. Cycle was bottoming out. 
and uh, that's kind of what we're seeing right now here we're seeing we've had this breakout it's pulled back you can see these gray spikes across the bottom these gray spikes usually equal uh, the sell-offs or panic selling in the market and usually during these we see uh, the, it's just complete flush it's a, what it is is a surge of sell orders on the NYSE and uh, of course when everybody's selling it's usually the end of the move so that's what we're seeing here today it happened to fall the SP 500 fall has fallen right back into support it's on a trend line we saw some panic selling today very similar to what we saw back in February I think we stand a good chance to, to move up uh, you know five six percent from where we are from there it's a, a new story we don't know uh, exactly what the markets will do we just pretty have to pretty much take it one bar at a time but uh, right now I think uh, the SP 500 looks pretty bullish and um, I think we need a few more days for the US dollar to uh, uh, either finish its little right hand shoulder and start to move down or for it to just break down in the next couple days and that'll send oil higher to send gold higher uh, equities should move up and that'll be the kickoff for uh, the next, I think, uh, multi-week rally. Anyways, that's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys later.